Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here shortly after our last episode. Uh, just in the van, our new van that we picked up in the last episode, heading down, or up I should say, towards the gas station on auto mechanic shop. Uh, those are going to be the next two locations we're going to scout out and uh, search here while we are staying in Rosewood. Uh, starting to make plans uh, for our... Uh, eventual exit from the town and over to Martridge as part of our our first step on the journey towards Louisville. Let's see how we can make out today. All right, I'm gonna park the car here. It's 8:40 a.m. July 2nd. We're gonna scoot around back. So there will be some zombies following us. Oh, okay, and we have a number back here. Let's go a little bit behind the building so the front zombies don't see us quite as easily. Try and clear these ones out as quickly as we can. And as quietly as we can. Oh, we got a hand axe there. Nice. Alright, here come the first from the front. Hold out as long as we can. Um, hopefully I can keep up with the zombies as they come around the corner here. So far so good. Make sure to pick up that hand axe. And we may have just dealt with that very efficiently. Nice. Alright, hand axe. Let's hop inside the auto mechanic shop and maybe we'll find some performance tires for heavy duty. Maybe we won't have to go back to the uh, to the drive-through. Our battery charger. Let's grab that. Uh, radio. I don't think we found the broadcast frequency yet, have we? Let's check this. Not seeing it there. All right, let's dismantle that. Continue getting our electrical XP. Some spare engine parts in there. Uh, mechanic books. Tire pump. I don't think we have a tire pump. Let's grab that. Uh, toolbox with some duct tape. Definitely take that. More spare engine parts. You know what? These don't weigh very much. We should probably just grab these. Maybe we'll make use of them down the road. It's going to be a ways until we can actually repair an engine, but... Doesn't hurt to grab them now. Alright, more tools, but nothing else we need there. All right, so no tires. Let's get out our hammer. Put on the counters, aside from books and elastics. Uh, let's fill up our water while we're here. Since the water has shut off now, we should uh, grab water whenever we can. And we're a little hungry. Let's delve into our dehydrated meat stick. Slip into a Slim Jim. Now can we take a quick peek at the vending machines? That's empty. And... Okay, that's it here. All right, <clears throat> not a lot of stuff. But we got zombies outside again, I can hear them. All right, let's sneak our way back out.
Uh, let's take a quick look through here for anything else we can dismantle. Uh, now, we did read the tailoring book, right? Yeah. We could start getting leather strips. Okay, that's cloth. I think it'll tell us if it's leather. Dismantle those. Alright, let's move back up to the car. We'll drop off. Uh, the car battery charger. Might as well throw the gas can in there as well. That's really weighing us down. Oh, one's following us. Two are following us. how we have the uh, the sliding door on the side. I'll be making for good access to those back seats. All right, let's quickly throw this stuff in. Battery charger, the gas can. We'll throw the hand axe in there too. And the spare engine part. And the spare engine part. Put all that stuff in there. Okay, good. Now, I might just go to the gas station on foot here. Instead of drawing a lot of attention. Uh, let's actually just eat the whole meat stick there. Alright, leather jacket. <clears throat> we can definitely tear this up. Alright, I think we can still manage this. A couple more quick kills here. work. Alright, let's tear up this leather jacket. The tailoring adventure begins with our first torn jacket. a hammer. Let's still repair that. Alright, uh, we have a wrench in here, don't we? Yeah. That out. And we still have our nightstick, too, but that's getting pretty low in condition as well. Maybe let's use that up. Quickly take a look at this car. Oh, it's locked. Okay, let's get inside. Hopefully there's no alarm. That's locked. Let's check the back door.
Pretty quiet back here. Good. Alright. All the junk food we could want. Uh, this will be good food to keep in the car. Another empty gas can. Grab that. Yeah, I'll grab all this candy. All this junk food. Lots of empty gas cans. Sometimes you come here and there's nothing. This time there's a lot. What I might leave the orange sodas. Yeah, let's take the licorice. Uh, burrito? Yeah, sure. That. More vitamins. We went through a whole bottle down by the uh, drive-in, so that's a good pickup there. Did wrong. All right. Well, I am happy with the junk food haul. Just assemble that. And that takes a lot of work from the uh, counter versus the inventory. That's interesting. All right, more food. Okay, well, those two uh, spots are, are done and we're uh, fairly uneventful. Clean these leather strips too. Okay, let's pull over the map here. So we're done with these. Oops. Let's use this X. So elsewhere, we've got uh, Pizza World, Spiffo's, with the motel. Uh, we have the the bailiff's office. Might be able to find some some weapons there, so that might be worth taking a look. Uh, we have searched the fire hall and the police station. Uh, we've done the library. It's just a bunch of houses. And what is, what is this building? What are these two buildings here? I can't recall what those ones are, but that might be worth taking a look at. Just off from the uh, construction site, hey? Okay, but you know what? Let's check out the, uh, the Bayless office back here. And then maybe let's take a road trip down there and check out those buildings. Those don't look like houses. Our stash of cigarettes and our fanny pack grows. Yeah, there are cars up here by the gas pumps. Nope. Okay, head back to the car. So I think all this junk food Maybe not all, but we'll stuff as much as we can into the glove box. That'll be food for the road. Uh, 
Uh, maybe not the candy packages, but uh, chips for sure. Meat sticks. Uh, granola bars will keep on us because those will go bad. Gummy bears though. Jelly beans. Quagga cakes. Not sure what those are, but they'll go in. There we go. Looks good. And a pop, sure. Okay, so to get to. Hold on. To get to. The bailiff office, it's just our first turn off. Away we go. And for the short drive down, we can turn on the AC. Now this stop is gonna be a lot messier. I have a lot more attention. I am guessing at least. Uh, that's not the turn I want. There we go, this one. Yeah, by the gated community. Alright, the bail bond. Oh, we do have a motorcycle helmet. And a new leather jacket. I think we need a new leather jacket, don't we? Yes, our right upper arm is scratched. Or has a hole in it. Oh yeah, that's a badass jack right there. We definitely need that in our life. The barrel dogs. Grab that helmet too. Oh, we got all the biker gangs here. No shortage of uh, cool leather jackets for us. Bikers have tough skulls. There we go. Okay. So, it won't hurt to have a few backups. We've got the wild raccoons. What else we got? Another barrel dogs. Uh, leather gloves. Those are torn, so we'll rip those up. Okay, we actually didn't wear the barrel dog jacket, so let's throw that on. All right, and this one is ripped, so let's rip that up. The aviator glasses, let's wear those. Jacket. All right, I think we gotta we gotta wear the black bandana. Oh, we have a new look now, um, but we're foregoing <laughs> we're foregoing the uh, crash helmet. I still want to wear the crash helmet. Put on face. Okay. Isn't there like a solid black one? Bandana head. Let's 
It's all patterned ones. No, I think I like the other one better. All right, let's wear this. After those injuries of the face, I kind of need to keep some uh, protection. There we go. There's a straight up black one. Okay, I'm going to grab the motorcycle helmet too. Just as a, a backup. If we can find a black one though, that will be preferable for our current look. Okay, let's dump all this in the... Actually, you know what? Let's dump this on the seat. And we'll head inside and check this out. Hopefully we can find uh, some more weapons, maybe some ammo in there. Starting to get drowsy. 5 p.m. Fortunately that's locked. Let's check some of the windows here. the baton. Okay. Let's try the other side. If need be, we'll smash a window. Emergency frequency. Dismantle that. Um, a mini fridge. I wonder if we should take one of those. Ah, uh, we'll we'll wait. We could probably hold off and find uh, another one in another town. All right, well, carrot seeds, wasn't expecting to find that, but uh, I'll take that. Okay, so sometimes there's um, some ammo or some weapons in that gun locker back there. Not this time. Just quickly check in this room. We've got covered away. And just the bathroom. Okay. So nothing there. Let's mark that off. Uh, we could swing by the bar since it's right here. Let's see if there's any more bourbon in there. Too tired. Jackets.
Uh, tire pump we should put in the back. We still have a fair amount of room in the back. Now it's this wrench. Fifty percent. Bright flag in. Hmm. We're uh, we're actually tired now. No longer drowsy. Rain is picking up. Okay. You know what? Time for us to go. That's too too sketchy. We're out of here. Back home and we'll check out those two other locations outside of town tomorrow. Home through the pouring rain. Yeah, we might have a few following us here. So I can scoot around back. Lose interest. Okay, uh, we are hungry, but I think we can afford to go to bed hungry tonight. Since we are already up to 82, weight-wise. Now we are going to need another book, though. Hmm. I don't think I have one in here. Hold on, I'm gonna sneak out. See if I can grab a book from the garage. Oh shit. Another hunter knife though. And a lighter. Grab both of those. Alright, uh, what are we gonna read tonight? Maybe mechanics? Where's our mechanic book? And you know what? Let's actually grab. Hmm. Mechanic one. Okay, let's grab that. Worry about a backup blunt weapon tomorrow. Alright. We will hunker down in our bedroom like we always do. Crack into this book. Start reading our way through uh, the first steps of mechanics. So I'll read this, get to bed, and we'll cut back in the morning. Okay, first thing here next morning. Looks like we're in for another foggy morning. Let's head down south, right through the middle of town, past the ambulance. Ask the news truck to refresher on where we're going today. We're gonna hit up this building and that building. Those ones look interesting to me. They don't quite look like homes, so I think they must be a, a garage or a shed or something. We'll see what they have. 
We're gonna have to go by the construction site again, which is a little hairy. And so down here, then we'll take another turn. Gotta do something about those cars. May have done some damage to our trunk there. Gotta do something about that group of zombies, too. Maybe on our way back. Okay, so, refer to the map again. Uh, it is this turn, okay. So I repaired our hammer with a bit of the wood glue we still had. Got about 65% condition back. Which is not bad. More wrecks. Uh, is this the proper we want? No, it's not. So let's go around this. It's further down. And that is difficult to see. Yeah, probably a good thing that... Oh, and there we go. <laughs> they heard my cries. I think this is it. Let's pull over here. Take care of these zombies that are following us. And we'll see where we are on the map. Short blunt is getting very close now to level five. Right, where are we? Yeah, just up this road to the right. down here. Lots of car wrecks. That is what a big shed. Alright, we might find some valuable items in here. denim shirt what we got in here some seeds okay now whether we're going to actually be in one spot long enough to plant crops I don't know however I guess if we as soon as we got into town somewhere if we plant seeds right away by the time we uh, are ready to leave, we might have a harvest. Okay, new hammer. Great. Club hammer, it's almost broken. Alright, first one done. Might as well take a look at this house. So there's a cabin or a house off into the side, not on the road. We gotta take a look at that one first. Black denim shirt, gotta take that for our backup. There we 
got a truck out here. We have another shed. Uh, metal pipe. Another metal pipe. That was a dangerous situation. Lots of coveralls, holy crap. I've never seen so many in one place before. So many overalls. Of them are torn up already. All right, let's stash these two away. All right, well, let's search the house, I guess, first. Let's grab the uh, food here. Well, after this next location, I think we're ready to um, to leave town. I don't think there's anywhere else I really want to check out. I mean, there's the uh, prison, obviously, but in all honesty, that's a uh, that's a, a quite an endeavor to take that on. Uh, and we'll probably just be tied up there for, uh, I wouldn't even be surprised, a couple weeks. So that might have to uh, be another series challenge. I do, I am anxious and do want to get Darren on the road. Okay, so I'm going to skip that house. I'm just going to go straight to this next location up the road. And I'm going to quickly check these for a generator magazine offhand. No go. Small pockets of zombies. two-story farmhouse and here's the garage here All right, let's scoot around to the uh, back here the rain continues to pour down this episode Trying to get that next level of shore blunt. We're so close. There it is. Level five. 
A lean, mean, hammer smashing machine that is Darren Lively. Head cruncher. Ah, this place looks pretty empty. Swing. Deadly. No mercy. What are you up to for kills here? Creeping up on 500. Two weeks in. a big fat zilch on this one okay Let's mark that off okay I think I'm good we got Martridge map already just need some water now water and some food let's loot this house Drawn. We'll avoid that window. The front door is busted down. Still hearing some knocking. Must be upstairs. Our rifle. We're gonna pass on that, but that's cool. A rifle out in the countryside. Okay, water. Go check the kitchen too. from Kentucky. Some sausage, some corn, beans, potatoes. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's open the beans, I guess. No bowl. Can't do a bowl of beans, but... Let's have that as is. Our trusty survival spoon, always on hand. Put that jacket.
and our first fledgling XP 0.52 into tailoring. All right, let's hop in the car. Uh, we can actually mark this off the map as well. That's a few. Oh my god, run. Mad dash. back there. Nope. Just a very confused police officer. But we have another nightstick. Hell yeah. Okay, let's switch that out for the wrench. And a shotgun with some shells. Let's unload that. Leave the gun here. Yeah, hey, I uh, really love these gates. And to think. Perhaps in a few months' time, or several months' time, we'll have animals in these these pens, hey? That's pretty exciting. Looking forward to that next big update from the Indie Stone. Alright, we're good. Time to go. And we have crossed over 500 kills in our first 15 days. Now, while we're out here, is there anywhere else you want us to take a look at? I don't think so, really. Well, not true. There's the gas station down here. And then if we want to get those tires, we go back there. Well, you guys let me know. Um, should we worry about the tires? We do just have value tires on this car, but um, you know, we should be fine. It shouldn't hinder us too much on the road. Let's just head back into town. Interested to see how the uh, hauling power is on this van for the trailer. Might want to take care of that little area of congestion by the construction yard too on our way back here. That's a pretty big group right there. But we're not going to be coming up this way again, so that's fine. Unless they do come up to the main road. This is the group I'm more worried about. So we will be taking this road down. Out of town. Okay, I can actually sneak through here. Okay. We won't worry about it today. They live another day. The dead live to tell another tale. We should take stock of all our inventory. Let's see if there's anything else that we really want to loot before we leave. But I think, for the most part, we've got everything we need. Done well for our first city. And two weeks in Rosewood, I think that's plenty time enough. Alright, here we are. 
Okay, well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Any other supplies we should focus in on here before we hit the road? If not, um, I'm going to be doing my own inventory check in between episodes. And if there's something I can think of, we'll take care of that in the next episode. Otherwise, we'll be hooking up this trailer and hauling ass to Martridge. So, thanks again for stopping by and uh, checking in on Darren Lively and his adventure from Rosewood to Louisville. The very beginning stages of that adventure. Hope you enjoyed today's show. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you check us out on Discord. Link down in the description as well as over on Twitch where we stream daily. Twitch.tv slash Plays. Hope to see you there. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.